Russians are cancelling reservations and packing their bags in Crimea after Ukrainian missile strikes. After Sunday's explosions in the Sevastopol area, vacationers are fleeing occupied Crimea, tourists are refusing travel permits and cancelling hotel reservations. Although the authorities are trying to hide it, it is already known that the beaches on the peninsula have been emptied. Even those who rested here under the free program go. Ukrainian Obzorevitel media outlet reports this. It is noted that on Sunday, near the beach of Uchievka in Sevastopol, Russian air defense shot down a missile, its wreckage flew to the beach where vacationers were at that time. As a result, dozens of people were injured and four died. As expected, the occupiers accused Ukraine and the USA of shelling peaceful vacationers. The Crimean Authority has always assured that vacationing on the peninsula is safe even during a full-scale war. She said that they don't shoot here, and if something explodes, it's far away, somewhere near military facilities. Now, according to the members of the Association of Tour Operators, tourists are refusing the tours. However, even now, tour operators note the refusal of permits is allegedly isolated. At the same time, the so-called Ministry of Economic Development of Crimea urged market participants not to find those who decided to cancel their vacation on the peninsula. Already, all bookings have been stopped. People are calling and saying, that's it, they won't come, return the deposit. But not all hosts will return their money, they will hope to the last that time will pass, everything will calm down and people will come. Well, not in Krasnodar, where else should they go? The prices are high there and the beaches are crowded, says Yevhen, who rents out housing in Crimea. The Russian mass media spread information that there are allegedly no queues of cars on the Crimean bridge towards Russia. Therefore, in their opinion, no one was afraid of anything. Everyone stayed to rest under rocket attacks. In fact, the majority of Crimean vacationers are budget workers who came here by train. Some state employees, frightened by the explosions in Sevastopol, rushed home. They packed their suitcases already on Sunday. They were persuaded, told that everything is calm in Feodosia, but they still went to the station to Simferopol. The road to both ends was paid for by the state. Now they will either change the return tickets or they will buy, says a worker at one of the sanatoriums in Feodosia. At least 10 people were killed and scores injured in gunfire during tax protests in Kenya's capital Nairobi. The police clashed with hundreds of demonstrators seeking to prevent the passage of a bill that would raise a number of taxes. Kenyan protesters breached parliament barricades and entered the complex where lawmakers were debating contentious tax hike proposals that have sparked widespread anger, AFP journalists saw, as police fired live bullets. Hundreds of protesters broke through barriers erected by the police outside parliament in the capital Nairobi, with police firing live rounds and leaving many wounded, according to Amnesty International Kenya. Protests forced President William Ruto on Sunday to express his readiness to engage in dialogue with demonstrators led by a youth group. Ruto hailed the youth for speaking out on political issues that affect them while attending a church service in Nyahuru, central Kenya. The president said, Our young people have stepped forward to engage in the affairs of their country. They have done a democratic duty to stand and be recognized, and I want to tell you that we are going to have a conversation with you to identify your concerns and work together as a nation. Amendments to the bill look set to be approved but some of the controversial provisions initially put forward included a plan to introduce a 16% sales tax on bread and 25% duty on cooking oil. There was also a planned increase in the tax on financial transactions as well as a new annual tax on vehicle ownership amounting to 2.5% of the value of the vehicle. The government said it was dropping these measures amid a public outcry. Kenyans are protesting over a new finance bill that introduces unpopular tax proposals that have drawn a lot of anger across the nation.